Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Chubbs Reviews. And today we're going to be talking about our second movie, our second Marvel movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Going in order of timeline and way things happen. Uh, first off, we reviewed Captain America, the first Avenger. Check that video out. Uh, number two here, we got Captain Marvel, one of the more recent Marvel movies to come out. And I haven't seen any of these Marvel movies, but I did hear about the backlash. This movie got a lot, like, before it even came out because Brie Larson is... Uh, a woman playing Captain Marvel and it, they kept saying how it was like a feminist movement and people were like so against that I don't really care about any of that none of that has anything to do with anything to do with the rating considering it's like a year later since the movies came out and that doesn't matter anymore we simply just want to watch this movie and is it good is it entertaining does it add anything to the MCU um is it good I would say yeah it's alright it's not nearly as bad as anyone uh, thought when I first told one of my friends I was gonna watch all these uh, Marvel movies they literally said I could skip Captain Marvel but no nah, I'm gonna watch them all cuz you know like I gotta enjoy the I gotta watch the bad ones if I'm gonna enjoy the good ones but this one wasn't I don't think it's bad I'm not classifying it as bad um, is it uh, is it memorable or like great no um, what is it here we got Captain Marvel Brie Larson She's uh, actually from an alien planet. I didn't know that. This is all at the beginning of the movie. Not any spoilers, really. Uh, she's an a she's from an alien planet. She's a Kree, is what she's called. And, and she's their people are kind of at war with these basically uh, shape-shifting, morphing... Not shape-shifting. Yeah, shape-shifting. They can change into people, uh, lizard people, <laughs> called scrolls. So it's kind of like the Kree versus scrolls in an alien planet. And Captain Marvel already has some... Uh, basically photons on her hand she can shoot um, photon blast and in the beginning there's a really cool action scene kind of of her being trained a little bit by one of the Kree guys uh, just her her and him fighting um, good play on each other she she's cracking some jokes I think Brie Larson does okay as Captain Marvel throughout uh, she doesn't have too much overflowing emo emotion throughout the entire film like she's not very um, relatable connectable but I think that's because she is kind of in a really unique position in the world she was trained as a soldier for a couple of years and um, yeah but anyway uh, she ends up you know during a space battle between these two armies the Kree and the, and the scroll Captain Marvel or uh, what's her name Carol Den Kember Ken I don't even remember her name in the damn movie it's Carol something verse <laughs> I literally don't remember right now um, I can't think of the last name. It's something verse, but anyway, she crashes down on Earth, and you kind of got a fish out of water scenario, in which <clears throat> she's on the planet, and you know they do some moments there uh, that are okay, um, you know, with her just kind of act, you know, doing weird things that is normal to her, but not normal on Earth. Uh, th I thought it was pretty cool scenes there, and then like, and then she kind of ends up meeting uh, Nick Fury and. I didn't really expect that at all. I did not expect Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury, to have this much screen time. He is basically the second main character in this in this movie to me. It's kind of like a buddy cop system after that, in which these two uh, people, because um, along along with Captain Marvel crashing on Earth, so did some scroll scrolls. So she's kind of there to track them down. They're there to track her down, and they're all after this one like uh, powerful um, space weapon. Based, not even a space weapon. It's it's like a hyperdrive. And it'll make your spaceship, you know, go farther in space. Anyway, they're all after something on on, uh, on this planet for whatever reason, and um, and then it, it's it's pretty actiony throughout. I would say the action overall is great. Action scenes. This is a 2019 movie, um, so I didn't think any of the scenes were bad at all. It's actually one of the better. I, I'm really into these movies right now because I want an action fix. This was a great action fix. Um, there are some things that work really well in the movie, like I said, Brie Larson and Samuel L. Jackson, uh, their characters, Fury and Captain Marvel, uh, do really well with each other, I think. Uh, they're, they have funny, genuinely funny moments. Samuel L. Jackson is genuinely funny in this movie. Um, and the de-aging software, I forgot this movie came out last year, 2019, and Samuel L. Jackson looks so young because it's like really good uh, CGI de-aging, basically. If you happen to see that Will Smith movie where he played himself and it was all young and stuff it was horrible um this tops that by a long shot when it comes to de-aging uh and then they um uh, there's some cool plays i think I mean, they could have used it a bit more 
but they did use it a little bit. Uh, you know, the scrolls can change into anyone that they see, any human. So throughout the movie, you're kind of uh, always in a, at a tension kind of. A, that's kind of the only tension you get was right there. Is, uh, you know, is is this person really that person or are they a scroll? Um, and, the, and the people and the characters constantly have to try to ask questions and figure that out. And it's really cool at first, and then they never use it again for a while. The movie starts off, I think, really strong, uh, and then it kind of slows down. Gets later on in the film, um, Carol Denver's and is her name Denver's? I don't know. It's something. Carol Vers has a uh, meets her old friend from um, from a while ago, and she's like this buddy friend thing, and. I just didn't really feel it. It felt really forced. Uh, this, this comparing this movie to like Captain America, you know, slowly comparing the MCU movies together. I didn't have any emotional pull. It was entertaining. It was, it was action packed, but I wasn't emotionally invested at all. Um, there was really no tension besides the shape shifting stuff because Captain Marvel kind of goes from having some par powers in the beginning to just being the most dominant and overbearing, over the top, like no she can stop a war with anything she's uh and i know she is supposed to be like the most powerful marvel character in the comic books or whatever or later on in life i don't know how she's gonna show up later if she even does but um uh, it, it just it just made it no attention filled you know and she didn't have any threat she was basically saying woohoo as she was killing everyone and not killing everyone but you know defeating the bad guys plans um the villains in general the scrolls they're like i said they're okay um one of the scrolls, one of the main scrolls, I couldn't think of his name, and he's even played by a good actor. But uh, I would say his part, you know, as a side character, kind of was really good. Um, yeah, you know, there's there's a little bit, there's some twist, there's one twist in there, which is what kind of boosts this movie up a little bit. It has a really good twist, I think, uh, a well deserved twist. I wouldn't say it like blew my mind, but it was it was good. You didn't see it coming. Um, I saw everything coming in Captain America, <laughs> but Captain America is probably still a better movie, the first Avenger, anyway. Like I said, this movie's just okay. This is a great origin story. Again, we're on all these origin stories. Um, it, it does set up a lot of potential. But, like I said, there was no tension. You're going to have to figure out a way to make something even as strong as her or tone down her power somehow. And also how she kind of earns her powers uh, isn't too great either. I don't think she deserved um, being the most powerful person ever for what, how she got her powers. It just didn't make any sense. Uh, another thing that I hate... Um, I, I do like something, like I said, Nick Fury's in the movie a lot, and it, they kind of explain some Avenger things, um, not that many, but one of the things that they explain about Nick Fury, I hate the way they did it so much, it is stupid, it is not funny, it is supposed to be a joke, and it's just not, um, I won't spoil it, but it, it really blew, I think. I thought it was kind of entertaining at first, I liked, but it just, it wasn't. <laughs> Uh, any all the other characters I liked, um, the main villain guy was okay. Um, I don't know. There was a there was a bunch of different kind of villains in this movie. It was all over the place, a little bit pacing, a little weird um, to me. But it was action packed. The ending kind of dragged. Um, I, I, but it, it, overall, it was okay. It was okay. I should final verdict here: seven out of ten. I I gotta give it a nice seven out of ten. Um, not any lower. Not any higher. It earns that, well, it does earn that extra point because of a decent twist and get a decent little plot there. But loses many points on just not that much tension, not much emotional pull. But it is entertaining. I do recommend it. It's a great movie for, for young girls, I guess. It's a great movie for anyone, really. Not great, but it's a, it's a good movie for anyone if you're just bored and want to see some action. Um, and, you know, it, it's not like... She, the one thing I did like about this movie, it wasn't filled with like a romance either. A lot of movies are, and the fact that they had a female actor and didn't do that, I don't know. It just it was okay. It it just really focused a lot on her and what was happening around her. Some things uh, got teased, like she was uh, some stuff about her brain and stuff, but I didn't think it, I didn't think it got used as well as it should have. <sighs> but yeah, there's, I guess there's a lot of complaints in this, but I still liked it. Seven out of ten. Good, um, good soundtrack, good 90s vibe, um, decent, uh, pretty good acting throughout, uh, really good visuals, um, yeah, that was all, that's all guys, 7 out of 10, see you guys in the next movie, which will be the Iron Man 1, I'm not a huge Iron Man fan, pray for me, but the first Iron Man movie will be next, thank you guys so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe, peace out.